Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. This is O'Malley Cat coming back to you with another reaction video. This is called The Waking Angry Grandma Up Prank. And before I start, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't own any of the music, I don't own any sounds, any songs, nothing, because I don't want a copyright note from YouTube. I just don't, I don't wanna deal with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that out now, and I will put that in the comments as well. I don't own any of it. I'm just here to react to the video and just have a good time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I would like to grow and become a really big, fun community. Um, I would like to have it to where we grow and eventually maybe we can have a P.O. box and I would read everybody's letters and make long videos of reading whatever anybody sends me. It would be a lot of fun. Let's have fun together. Well, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you haven't already, again, subscribe and share with your friends for a nice laugh. And here we go starts i just wanted to let you guys know that me and granny have our official angry grandma and jake podcast out you can check it out the link will be in the description of the video ain't that right gran you're fucking right jake we also have our merchandise store open where you can buy angry grandma t-shirts i want a hoodie my phone cases so be sure to check that out well without further ado i love you guys i love you granny i love my cigarette what what about me? Fuck you, Jake. Get out of my fucking room. Fine. <laughs> Classic. I'm not playing this stupid motherfucking game at 11 o'clock at damn night. It's almost my fucking bedtime. And Dude. I Fucking shit. Dude, it's 11 o'clock at night. Let the lady go to sleep. You know, she's worked all her life. She's tired. She's elder. You know, give her a break. Plus, she has to deal with you guys, especially you, Jake. I mean, come on. Let her sleep. Don't step in shit. Again. Okay, just like the video I just did a moment ago, I swear, like, every video they have, there's always something that has to do with, like, feces or somebody farting. I swear they do. It's like, it's like somebody has an obsession with it. Almost like a kink. What is wrong with you? It's everywhere in these videos, but it's, it's funny. Also, I'm a little juvenile, but it's funny. Fuck that. It's going to be fun. It's going to shit. Literally. Fuck, I want to play a fucking game like this. Don't step in fucking shit. Hell, I do that all the damn time when I go out in the fucking yard. You have to walk around it or walk over it or what the fuck ever. This is different, though. How the fuck's this different? You have to avoid Same shit down there and you have to avoid it. You have to step over it or step around it or whatever. But this one don't smell. It don't make a damn. It's 11 o'clock like I said at night. Almost my fucking bedtime. Most people are having parties there. right now. You want me to hit you right between the fucking eyes of this fucking game? <laughs> don't step in fucking my damn eyes. Hell, get that all the fucking time when you walk outside. You're acting like it's midnight. It's almost my fucking bedtime. I'm tired, motherfucker. It's only 11. It's only 11? Well, what fucking time you think I go to bed? I go to bed in an hour. I've seen you at 3 o'clock in the morning outside smoking. That's when I've been in bed and I took me a nap and I'll wake up and smoke me a cigarette and go back to bed. Mother fuck. I got in an argument with a woman yesterday over her dog shit in the fucking yard. I've seen a couple videos where she's talking about this lady. Honestly, at this point, if it just keeps going on, I would just, you know... You know, I would have my phone on recording or like have one of those apps where you can record while the screen's on or something and just say, hey, your dog is doing this in my yard. If you're going to do it, at least pick it up, throw it away. 
you know, if the dog has to go, they got to go. But if they do it and it's in your property, on your property, pick it up. Okay, that's just gross. Nobody wants to see it, nobody wants to smell it, and nobody wants to step in it. So I am on her side. I would just, you know, politely say, hey, take care of this. Then if not, then I'd go to the next step. But it seems like she keeps talking about it and she never tells anything to this lady. That damn bitch that wants that damn big <sighs> ass dog down through here sometimes. <laughs> She's so she blunt. She stopped. She when? The dog yesterday. You know when it was real nice outside, that was yesterday. Yesterday was real. Fuck, you can't even remember yesterday. Well, anyways, I don't know why the fuck I'm telling you? What happened? The lady was walking her dog? She was walking her dog, let her dog come over in the yard and take a big shit. I hollered at her. I said, what are you doing? Oh, my dog had to use the bathroom. Not in my fucking yard, I told her. At least pick it up. Where's she gonna go? And she started to walk exactly. I said, hey, wait a minute. I said, you go get your ass back here, clean that damn dog shit up. If you ain't, you bitch, I'm calling the damn popos. I'll see what the fuck they say about it, motherfucker. What you do? She come back, she cleaned the damn shit up. She, uh, don't. I was pissed. Starts to pick up that damn bottle full of mild cigarette duds and throw them at her. She took another step, I would have. Well, where's your dog supposed to go? Not in my fucking yard. There's plenty of places out there the dog could have went. Granny, I've seen coyotes in our yard. I've seen raccoons. They didn't stop shit, though, did they? No, but they went through our garbage and scattered it all over the place. Well, fuck, I ain't going in on a fucking raccoon. The raccoon to eat your ass up. I thought the you... coyote just ran through the yard. He didn't stop to shit. Boy, that's one thing. You do not mess with raccoons and skunks and things like that. Those things will give you rabies. I'll tell you a story. One time I was coming home really late from work, and uh, it was about 11 o'clock at night because I had to stay a couple hours late. We always got off at 9 where I worked. Mm -hmm. But I stayed later because we were really behind, and it was around Thanksgiving time. Well, I come home, and the next thing I know, there's a skunk in the yard, and I could only tell because of the white stripe, but if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have known it was there. And I just froze because I thought, okay, this thing is either going to run and or it's going to chase me and or it's going to bite me. I just froze really quick, and I was too far away from my car, you know, but it was closer to my house, so I felt like it was, I felt like I was stuck. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do here? So the next thing I know, it starts to move, and I kind of back up, and then, of course, it's it starts to go quicker, and I run, and it's running after me, and I thought, oh, no, we're not doing this. And then I ended up jumping back, and I, like, ran, and I went and got on the top of my car, and, of course, it's just standing there looking at me, and I'm thinking, dude, this is not good, because it's 11 o'clock at night, I'm a woman, I'm by myself, I don't need to be out here right now, like, I am literally a sitting duck at the moment, and... There's one thing chasing, getting ready to spray or bite me, and then there could be somebody else that's going to come up and try to grab me or something. Like, I am literally stuck. You know, eventually it went away because, like, a cat or something was jumping out of the bushes and it got scared and ran off or something. But <sighs> that was terrifying. I don't mess with wildlife. Just leave stuff alone. A few minutes later. Well, let's get this set up. Set the motherfucker up. I don't care. That don't mean I have to get the fuck up. What's your problem? I'm tired. What's your spirit? You want to Quiet. I'm so... What the fuck is this? Is that a comb? No, it looks like a damn more like a fingernail file or something. What is I that? What the fuck that I is. can't tell what it is. Maybe oh, it goes to the move. game. Okay. It looks like one of them spinner things. That you just... It could be. Just, just pick it up, will you? What else is in there, Graham? 
This thing that it goes on, I guess. Let's see. Let's pack her out those things down in there with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck it. What is that? I... What the fuck's this? Is that a headband? I don't know what the fuck that is. Put it on your forehead. That go on your forehead? Oh, that's your damn mask you're supposed to wear. Oh, that's where you, it blindfolds you. That's a blindfold. Fuck it. <laughs> what? what in the fuck is that? Is that poop? Looks like a. Is that poopy? It almost looks like a condom. Oh, it's a weird looking I'm condom. Like oh, it looks like you mold it. It. That looks it looks like one of the things that you can use to mold and make shapes of stuff. So I guess you're going to use it to make molded clay feces, I guess. But at first, yeah, it does kind of look like a condom. It's a weird looking one. Like damn smurf shit. <laughs> Grand. What? Is that poo poo? I don't know. Is it poo poo? What the fuck is this? <sighs> I don't know what the fuck it is. It's poop. Poop Play Doh. That's. Oh man, she looks so annoyed. What are you doing? Aren't you shit? Do what you gotta do with it. With that. What's this? What the fuck's this supposed to be? What in the fuck is it? Maybe it's a treasure map that leads to buried treasure. Yeah. A treasure map <laughs> that leads to a big pile of fucking shit. What's this like? What's it supposed to do? Maybe it's a clock. That's not a clock. She's gonna clock you in the head. I don't know what it, the fuck it is. I think we lay that map thing on the floor and then put the piles of poo poo, poopy. Poopy. <laughs> poopy. <laughs> is that what it is? Poopy. Oh man. Poopy. Motherfucker, what you say, play old shit? Well, you put the shit on the thing. Well, keep that, keep that, put that down. I'll take, I'll set, I'll squat down there and see if I can't leave a pile of shit for you. No, that's what the play dohs for. Fuck that play doh. That's where we make our own poop, and then we put it on there, and we blindfold each other, and we have to walk on it, and you have to make sure you don't step in poop. Uh, oh, oh, I, I'm afraid. This is the mold. Okay, so I was right. Okay. Shit it and stuff for what it. Hey! What are you doing, Grant? I can't see. I'm trying to make a fucking mold out of it. We'll do it higher. You gotta give a tutorial. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, hell yes. I got to do this shit. I got to do that shit. This shit. That shit. That, that damn thing. Yeah, I got her. Motherfucker. You got it? I got it! I can't see! Here, I'm turning it out! Now how the fuck am I supposed <laughs> to get it out of here? Alright, Captain. There's your little pile of fucking shit. Ew. It don't even stick. Yeah, I was gonna say it just moves around. It looks like such a stupid game. I thought it down out of the damn thing that won't even stick. You didn't give it a shot. You want me to get that iron shit you turned? Wait a minute. You got hair on it now. 
You're yeah. supposed to lay it there gently. Here. It's dog shit. You put it there. How the fuck you know it goes there? Because I have a feeling by the dog prints. Dog prints? They ain't no... Granny! Haven't you watched Blue's Clues? That's a Blue's Clues. I love Blue's Clues. Let me get a better one. Okay. I loved Blue's Clues. Oh my gosh. Steve Burns was my warmth in my heart growing up. So I was, I was so sad when he left Blue's Clues and I think his name was Joe. Joe took over. I thought, nope. Nope. I'm done. Okay. It's not right without Steve. I watched uh, Blue's Clues growing up on Nick Jr. Um, I always watched it at my grandma's house. Um, it was just so fun to watch. And when I got to when I became a parent, the more I thought about it, as I you know went on as a parent, um, I started to realize that I talk like Steve from Blue's Clues. The way he would talk to you on the screen and make you think and figure stuff out. I parent and I sound like Steve Burns is really funny. Like for example, I'll be with my daughter and she's looking for something and I'll, instead of saying, oh, where'd you put it? You know, a lot of times I'll squat down and say, well, let's think about it real quick. What were you doing before you lost it? You know, and she'll think about it and give me an answer. And I'm like, well, maybe let's, re let's go and do our steps and go back and try to figure it out. You know, and then I'll say, here, lead me show me the way where are we going you know things like that that was last year when I put that together and I thought you know and that's pretty cool because I really liked Steve Burns you know if I ever got to go to one of those comic-con I've never been to comic-con or anything or you know places where you dress up as your favorite video game character or movie character or you meet celebrities and things like that I would love to meet Steve Burns like, I loved that guy so much. And again, I was so sad when he left. But then he made that video where he was in that tan, like, trench coat looking thing. And he had the hat on. And he looked really good. Very handsome. And um, I was just so happy. Us millennial kids who watched it was like, oh, it's Steve. He came back for us, man. Like, where'd you go? You know, he made that video like, can we talk about this? Like, yeah, we need to talk, man. You left, man. But, you know, I know it's just a show, and I might sound silly, but, you know, growing up, it's very personal, and I was just so happy to see him again. Like, I honestly thought he was just done with TV. And, you know, some people, they move on. They do other things. That's part of life. But it was really nice to see him again. And, you know, I know it's just him being in character, but, you know, he came back and talked to us like, yeah, you grew up, and you're going through this, and life was hard. It gets hard sometimes. It's like, yeah. It does. It did, man. You know, but you came back. But anyways, he's talking about Blue's Clues, and I'm going on. Anyways, Steve Burns, if you ever watch this, I would love to meet you. I would be so, so happy if I could just see you, even if it was only one time. I would love to take a picture with you and go hang out, have lunch, or do something. That would be so awesome. Okay, going back to the video. What, what it is, I'm going to Blue's Clues again a minute. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to tar it all to fucking hell. And it'll be your blue clues and shit, too. One hour later. See, guys, you take this, you put it in that, then you take your hands and you mash. You mash Mold it. real hard. Real, real hard. Okay. What's it smell I'm like? I'm a pretty pile. Pretty pile of shit. That's how you do it. Oh, fuck! My hands even smell it. <laughs> Why'd you do that? There's your pile of shit over. My fucking head smells like shit. <laughs> well, we got. Oh, two there's two of them. Hey, you know what? Here's number three. Quit! She's always throwing stuff. You ever notice she's always throwing stuff or, you know, getting ready to hit somebody or something? Do you think maybe she should have just been in the NFL? I mean, she would have done pretty well. Just a thought I had. I mean, she's always just chucking, and a lot of times she makes it, too. 
I mean, she she could have played sports and been a professional back in her day. Where's it at? Where did that poop go? Oh, hell no. What? It went off my brother's picture. You got shit off my brother's oh, picture. Oh, you did. You're in well, trouble now. I hope, oh, I hope. You threw it. I hope. Head to here. I'm going to crack you right no. in the motherfucking eyes with it, you stupid eye. Son of a bitch. You they threw better it. not be none stuck on it, I'll tell you that, because there is. I'm, you go find shit in your bed tonight, and it ain't going to be damn, damn Plato. Because I'll go in the bathroom and take me a little baggie, and I'll shit in it, and then I'll bring it in there and throw it in your motherfucking bed. One eternity later. So you... You stand right there, and then you put the blindfold on. You know, I don't want to do this stupid ass shit, but if it'll get you out of my fucking room, I'll do it. But I ain't doing it but one fucking time. No peeking. Who in the fuck's peeking? Sure the fuck ain't you, motherfucker. This is my first and last time. Okay. Wait a minute, Granny, look Am at me. Am I on the fucking mat? <laughs> Why does the eyes on that thing look like that? It looks all I weird. Don't know. Yeah, you're standing on it. Standing on it, okay. Now you gotta walk to me without stepping in any pile. You straight in front of me. I'm straight in front of you. Wait a minute. Oh, motherfucker. You stuck Son of a <laughs> She did it. God damn it. You stepped in it. Go. Motherfucking shoot. Stop it. Don't come in here no more with no fucking stupid eyes motherfucking gay. Just a uh, game with shit. Now who in the fuck wants to play a game with shit? And that easy bake oven. Oh, it really baked, didn't it? That thing sucked. It wasn't worth a fucking dime. You just mad because you didn't bake good and you stuffed in poop. Fuck you. Don't take it on of me. Later that night. Oh, here we go. Again, I don't own any music. You free later? Boy, somebody's in the mood. What the fuck was that? Oh, motherfucker! Oh. Dude, somebody needs to go to the hospital. Jake! Where the fuck? Somebody's taking a damn big shit someplace. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> much, much, much later. Oh, God. That. <laughs> just outright with everything that's something i like about her she does not hide it and she just tells it plain and simple <sighs> i would love to hang out with her someday your roof stinks motherfucker but he better not wake me eyes up with this damn stupid ice shit like he has before and somebody in the bathroom taking a fucking big shit 
If ever thing else, I'll tell you what, I'm getting something off. I'll knock the hell out of him with it. Motherfucker can't even go to sleep! Oh, I pissed. Going there to get me a big pile of shit, take it in there and throw it in his fucking bed. <gasps> something like I threw do it all night. Ten points if you do it, man. He starts that stupid shit again. Little Caesars then cross pepperoni pizza with pepperoni to the edge for just Little Caesars is good. Who in the fuck wants to hear fucking pizza? Six forty nine, motherfucker. Jack! Okay, I like Little Caesars, so I can't hate on that right now. The one I didn't really care much for is Papa Murphy's. I don't know why. Like, my dad and my stepmom, they would buy Papa Murphy's when we were younger. It's the one that, like, you take home and you cook it or something like that. I never really liked their pizza. I don't know why. It, it's that one, and, like, Domino's was okay. But to be honest, the best, the absolute best pizza in my opinion is actually the one at the Casey's gas station. I don't know what it is, but I like theirs better than anybody. And my favorite kind is just regular cheese with the uh, stuffed crust. Call me boring, call me original, but you know what? Bite me. Oh no. 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 Ew. I guess Jake does. He's into that, I guess. I know this one. Ew. How can I help you today? Oh, bitch, he's calling the cops. They're coming for you, Grand. Mother. Okay, ma'am. Well, this sounds like a situation where we need to transfer you to the kids' police station. Can you hold oh. for just a moment? You fucking ain't well bad, I can. She thinks they're talking to her. Hello, ma'am. This is the kids' police station. What is the problem? My fucking grandson. She is done. I'm about ready okay, to beat his fucking eyes. Age, his name's Jacob, and he's is 21. He fun, yes, is he, he is. Doing naughty stuff? Yeah, he's a pain in the fucking eyes. Ma'am, if he didn't stop, I will send an officer to him. Well, he ain't fucking stopping. If he didn't stop, ma'am, arn him? He's arn him? Arguing. Okay. I'm afraid that I'll have to send an officer to him. Do it. Okay, send the fucking cop. Stop crying. We will send him to the military camp or children's prison. Children's prison? Be just work just now fucking an officer fine. on his way to you to arrest him. Good, motherfucker. Good. I'm come and get it. So is he stopping it, ma'am? No, he ain't stopping. Okay. Ma'am, we will call this off. If no! A good kid, and I will never do it again. He won't say it! Come and get his fucking eye! Did he say it, ma'am? No! Okay, the operation is off for now. He looks You like motherfucker! A... Come and get his fucking eye! <laughs> Boy, she is just done with him, man. Okay, guys, so that was Waking Angry Grandma Up Prank. Again, I don't own any of the music to this. Um, this is pretty funny. I like these. These are 
these are really great. I'm sure there are other ones that's going to have people singing or maybe something a little more X-rated. Who knows? We'll see if we'll run into that sometime later. But if you haven't already, I would really appreciate a subscription to the channel. As always, I'm going to send the link to Angry Grandma's channel and the video in the description below. Go show them some support. They're almost to 500,000 subscribers. <clears throat> And in the previous video, I mentioned that Angry Grandma's son, who is Jake's dad, had passed away just a couple days ago, or maybe it was yesterday. So I'm really sorry, you guys. That, that really sucks. Cancer is terrible. It really is. It's a terrible thing to have to go through. You suffer so much. And then a lot of times you just end up losing that person anyways. So I feel for you guys. Well, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy.